Stone Hill! Yeah! Chance Sport! Yeah! And let's come up here, come up here, Stone Hill! Yeah! Me I move my car and I stab on my tire. Yeah. Stab on my tire, me I keep me in an accident. Yeah. So when me I jump out, I care them living on my face, the brown one. Yeah. The brown one living on my face with them stick, with them iron yeah. stick. Yeah. Look on my face. Police, uh, police brutality, police, police living yeah. on my face. The brown one. I hear you yeah, 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 in rural St. Andrew. I now, as you guys can hear, the taxi man complaining about pro police brutality. Now, I have a video that I'm going to send in my WhatsApp group. As you guys can see on your screen, this police officer that is on your screen with the gun in his hand is actually standing on the gentleman. N-E-C-K as we speak and if you notice the female officer hand is on the gentleman tie now at that point the female officer were signaling him to ease up his foot off the neck of the gentleman because by now they have subdued the gentleman on the ground. I'm going to send that video in my WhatsApp and you guys can tell me what you make of it because more and more day by day we are seeing that the communication, the relationship and all the ship between police and the citizens are deteriorating. Not only taxi men but residents in and around the community and we have a serious issue we have a serious problem that we are ignoring and sooner or later we cannot ignore it anymore spam the comment section and tell me what you think so i am about to give you some news that you don't want to hear right now but you need to hear because this I got sound like a movie, but just no say a real life. Detective Sergeant Kevin Main of the halfway tree CIB was shot and killed by a prisoner, Dave Singh, with whom he has a case before the court. He was escorting Singh to the lockup when he saw that he was in possession of a cell phone when he tried to take away the phone from him a tussle ensued between them another policeman went to the assistance of sergeant main singh pulled the weapon from the other policeman and shot the detective one time multiple times jy family then after that he turn the gun on himself so just read between the line they both were pronounced on the spot jy family my condolences goes out to this officer and his family jano wow just wow I am speechless. I'm telling you from other days, eh, more and more. The stuff them where we are covered. Sometimes me myself I cover the stuff them. Me have to look. If I don't cover this already, or I try to remember which movie this year, which movie this was taken from. If if I only if I enactment or something of the sort. Trust me, it rough out here. When you see your husband, your son, your daughter, whoever, come home from work, no matter the line of job that person have, 
You have to just give God thanks. Yeah, man. Spam the comment section and tell me what I think. And the first one, we whistle, cross my ears. And then the second one, it, it sound like splash, splash, you know? So that I wouldn't bore the skin. The flashbacks are still like yesterday for Christine Barton. The November 23 news headlines from the drive-by shooting in their Kingston community. Two killed, five others injured, including a 10-year-old boy. That boy was her son, Travel Walker. He's now 11. The evening started with a simple chore of going to the shop after school, but by 8 o'clock, the natural preteen stages for this child, who was already competing in track and field and football, were shattered. Seeing him there, the shots were cooled down, stopped firing. He went from behind the car, so I could see him now, and I was telling him, run, come to me. So on his way, run, come in to me. I heard two shots fired. And like going out closer to the team, I have to draw back because the shot whistle across my ears, so I have to get flat and draw back. When he's already coming to me, couldn't in that position, I couldn't have been said anything to him more than when he run come to me, he fell in front of me. Fell in front of me, still not knowing he got shot, but on my knee trying to draw him closer to me. When I pull, pull him closer, I see the shot wound and blood coming from his back. Miss Barton's screams were heard by her eight-year-old daughter who was at home nearby and drew attention so he could be rushed for medical treatment. For months, doctors worked to save Travel's life. Did they remove the bullet? Good. No, the bullet is still inside. They said that the surgeon wasn't about removing the bullet. It was to fix the damage that happened with the back because the backbone, which is the spine bone, it break. So they clean up the splinted bones and try to brace back the bone. So they said that it will, it will heal by its own. Are they thinking it's dangerous to remove the bullet? Well, they said that it's, they're not going to look for the bullet to cause greater damage to his body. Been, been, his body has been through damage because his kidney get damaged, the liver, the spleens, also the spine. So they never want to go and looking for it to cause any damage. They say once they see it during the surgery, they will remove it, which they didn't. They show me a picture on a screen. That's the whole entire back. They're showing me where the bullet was. Say so it was by the hip. Inspired Jamaica met Dr. Matthew Bartels, Chair of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation at the Montefiore Medical Center in Bronx, New York, while on the island as part of the Zion Care International 2024 mission to Jamaica. I just want to deal with the immediate matter that we dealt with just now. Thank you so much for introducing this family to us. But when we think of the trauma in general that children go through um, and you have to deal with these cases, your, your immediate reaction when they come? Well, of course our immediate reaction is this is just a tragedy that I really don't want to have a child to have to go through such a thing. And one of our biggest concerns is not only what are their physical needs, but there's a lot of psychological trauma and a lot of these children have a hard time getting back to school, getting back to their friends, even sleeping overnight because, you know, the, they relive the terror over and over again. A conversation to be continued when we hear more from Ms. Barton and for the first time from Travel. I'm Curlin Brown. Let's continue to inspire Jamaica. Them try clip with wings, some we can't fly out. But when we there, yard, yeah, nothing nice like Jamaica, roast bread, fruit, and banana. Under the tree with a glass of.